I'm from Baton Rouge, so I ended up in the clinic here after residency. I went to uh, school in New Orleans and then at Katrina hit, and I finished my schooling here in Baton Rouge, and it brought me home, and I didn't want to leave. It is um, the friendliest place in the world. Uh, I think it's uh, kind of getting a more of a big town with a small town still feel. That's my favorite thing about it. I think um, it's a good place to raise a family, and I'm a mom, so it's a, it's a nice place to be. Um, I have three boys, and um, they're still pretty young, um, so uh, uh, it's uh, an adventure. Life is an adventure right now, <laughs> um, but we, uh, we really enjoy them, and they have, we have a great time. I, um, I always knew I wanted to be a doctor, really, pretty much, since I was a little girl. I um, actually went to the dermatologist a lot. I had um, pretty bad acne, and um, he suggested it when I was in medical school that I should really think about dermatology, and so I kind of went through medical school and then residency thinking about dermatology, and when you go through medical school, you do a little rotation in each, and um, I liked it the best. It's a really good feel because it's a combination of just general medical, taking care of patients, uh, prescribing medications, um, you know, dis di diagnosing diseases, but it also has a lot of um, procedures. I get to uh, cut out skin cancer, I get to treat warts, I get to do cosmetic procedures, so I get to use my hands a lot. It keeps the day really interesting and fun, and um, I, get to, uh, I get to vary it up. I'm not doing just one thing all day. I think you have to be um, interested in your patients. You have to be willing to, um, to cater to how they want the examinations to go. And I think, I think that um, uh, you want to find a doctor who, who kind of um, uh, puts you first, makes you comfortable, is friendly, and willing to, willing to work with you to make that relationship work. It's been amazing, actually. Um, I think that um, just the ability to communicate so very easily with other doctors is brilliant. I mean, you can do it by the phone or you can do it now through the computer, but you can also communicate with your patients through the computer, and a lot of patients have been taking advantage of it. Um, I get a lot of, I get emails every day um, through Epic, and um, uh, it's a secure way to communicate. Um, they can see their own labs, they can see their own medications that we have listed so that if there's a discrepancy, they catch it. They can also um, help us, um, you know, hey, I, maybe I didn't mention to you that I was diagnosed with this condition. I didn't, it's not going to see it on my EPIC chart. So it's been um, not only useful and helpful, but also possibly potentially life-saving because it, we don't miss things if patients are helping us keep track of what is recorded. Um, there's also a lot less worry about duplication and, and maybe um, accidental um, uh, um, medication interactions because the computer is checking all of that for us, so we really, really have liked it, and um, I'm, I'm a technology person, so I like to be able to be emailed by my patients and to email them back. <laughs>